Max Scherzer is by just about every statistical category, the premier pitcher in baseball right now. That's not counting the three career Cy Youngs back-to-back -back these last couple of seasons. And Marco Estrada outfetched him. Marco Estrada outfetched a three-time Cy Young winner, and Devin Travis supplied all the offense in the Blue Jays' second straight win over the Nationals on Saturday. Rick Madanik, Toronto star, I'm not the one who has to face him. Estrada shrugged. I don't have a bat in my hands, Devin Travis had to drag his sorry .148 batting average down to AAA in late April, and has nudged the numbers upwards incrementally after spending 22 days in the minors. He took Scherzer out of the ballpark, accounting for both of Toronto's runs in a 2-0 win over Washington on Saturday, the demotion sucked but I guess it's part of the game. Just maybe used it as a little bit of fire, article continued Bella was in lighting one, under his own backside. Miserly on offense, seven hits between the clubs, but a sparkler of a pitching duel at the Rogers Center on a glorious June afternoon, shadows growing long in the outfield, the Blue Jays now with a brace of weekend wins over the Nationals. This middle match was the most improbable W, one might have imagined, Scherzer boasting a 2.00 era, leading the National League with 142 strikeouts, holding the opposition to a sliver thin .171 OBP. While the Jays have been, cough cough, pretty pitiful offensively down in 25th spot, hovering around .230 in team batting average. What would the dominant and diabolical Scherzer do with this mewling lineup except carve them a collective new one, surely? Except you just never know in baseball. And sometimes, a shift slider from the guy who unspooled an immaculate inning just over a week ago, striking out the side versus Tampa on nine pitches, second immaculados to use the Latin of his career, putting him in the rarefied company of only Lefty Grove, Sandy Koufax, Nolan Ryan and Randy Johnson, doesn't hit its exact spot, not even with the dynamic precision of a Scherzer, and a steadily self-redeeming bright eyes like Travis will launch a rocket to deep left field. Jacks on back-to-back -back nights for Travis, just the eighth surrendered by the Washington Ace this year, Travis ushering along Luke Miley, who'd walked ahead of him. Article continued below, come swinging early, if he lays something in there, manager John Gibbons had advised pre-game of the keenly anticipated confrontation with Scherzer, the only time they'll get a gander at him this season. He's an aggressive pitcher, comes right at you, doesn't back down. He's on the attack, so you've got to be ready for that, the imperious rightly so, right-hander was some kind of brilliant, to be sure, that bit of a hanger, slider his only major mistake. Still and all, mowed down 10 J's on strikes, becoming the first of his fraternity to scale the 150k heights in 2018, holding Toronto to 4 hits in 6 innings. Yet Estrada, ably assisted by some superb defense, Yanger Vistalarte glittery on abrasive third inning liner stabs at third base, more than measured up to the mound matchup, allowing only three hits over 62 thirds innings, maxing out at a season high 109 pitches and generally squelching the Nats. Footnote Bryce Harper went 0 fair 4 at the plate, his bat never moving from his shoulder in a key 6th frame K looking, Estrada painting the outside corner after fleet-footed TREA Turner had doubled, had to keep the Nats at bay with Toronto not connecting for a hit until the third and only three more after that, getting not a sniff off electric reliever Wander Suero. Tended to that two-run lead as if it were a precious thing, did Estrada and the bullpen arms, Danny Barnes, Aaron Liu, Tyler Clippard, who kept things hitless pristine in relief, Toronto recording their first shutout, hard to believe, since last August. 10. A span of 117 games. A homer off Scherzer, though, that's something to savor. Even if Travis did keep it respectful in the after scrum, I was drafted by the Tigers, so my first big league camp Scherzer was still with the Tigers, he reminded. 
I got to face him a little bit on the backfield, so maybe his knees weren't quite buckling, squaring off against Scherzer's ruthless efficiency, he's a guy that, when you go to sleep at night and you know you're facing Max Scherzer the next day, your heart starts to beat a little bit early, we think he meant beat hard. Otherwise, he'd be dead, you know you're up for a big challenge. He's the best in the game, but the best in the game can sometimes give you a peach of generosity. Which is what Travis bit into on that front door slider in the fifth, after remonstrating with himself over fouling off another juicy offering earlier in that at-bat, he probably wasn't looking to throw it there, said Travis, who also tagged Scherzer for a single in the third and had himself a nice defensive day at second base to boot. He doesn't make many mistakes. When he does, you better hope you take advantage of it, cause if not, it's probably the only one you're going to get, oft injured Travis, just a peach of a guy himself, didn't much care for the query about maybe having to prove something to the Jasons that dismaying emotion, I wouldn't say I'm really trying to prove anything. That's when you go out here and maybe do things that are out of character. I try to keep the game simple. I try to have fun. I try to come here every single day and help my team win. I try to leave it at that. At the other end of the spectrum, Estrada left the bump having won consecutive starts for the first time this year, with the roar of a standing ovation in his ears. At one point before a seventh inning single to Michael Taylor, he'd dispatched 13 of 14 consecutive nets, befuddling them with his changeup, fastball combo, a few cutters thrown in, it's always nice to hear the fans behind you. We're all working really hard to play really well every day and I know at times we can be frustrating. We frustrate some of these fans because we're not winning, but we've put together some pretty good games lately and it's just good to see they have our back. If nothing else, Estrada has recently been driving up his value as a trade deadline asset. But hey, know what happened last time Estrada beat Shores or head-to-head? -head? That was June 2, 2015, and Toronto smacked Washington 7-3 at Nationals Park, with Kevin Pillar raking a pair off homers off Scherzer. That launched an 11-game win streak for the Jays, the first of two Fab W streaks en route to the postseason. Estrada couldn't remember it, wow. Well, hopefully that happens again. Yeah, we could use that.